All right, guys, welcome to Mining Positivity with PJ. If you saw the last few episodes, man, things have been crazy. <laughs> They've been crazy. It was frustrating. I got lost a lot and, you know, stuck in the nether. But here's what we actually got from that ocean monument. 62 sponges. Like, that's crazy. And look at all these building blocks. And I barely started ripping the thing apart. Like, I've pretty much gutted the innards. But, like, I started actually breaking down the top of the ocean monument. And we'll go back and we'll get more of it for sure. Um, I basically want to remove the entire monument and take every block that we have uh, available to us. Because we're going to be building a lot of cool stuff with those blocks down here. Lighting it up. Putting in some of our... Um, some of our coral stuff and all of that and yeah it's it's gonna be cool and even here i've been finding a few you know like through all this playthrough for months now that's it's been going on i've gotten five sea lanterns and then within this last week i've gotten almost you know two sets worth of sea lanterns so that's pretty crazy uh we also got a ton of gold we got uh more of the um ingots for our netherite so we're up to six now. Uh, we could definitely make some new armor and I could finally get out of this thorns armor that's gotten me in trouble so many times that I don't even want to revisit. But um, today is actually going to start something new for us. We're going to start focusing on our Valentine's builds. So I've had this area of the island. I've been wanting to do this really nice, like flowery, kind of romantic, picnicy area. And then I thought, well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I did like a Halloween themed uh, episodes, and I did some um, some other themed episodes. I wanted to do some Christmas ones, but it just family stuff was going on. But um, we could definitely do some Valentine's Day ones. So let me go over to the area I'm talking about. I'm also realizing how little I've actually done on this island. I always feel like, man, I've done so much and there's like nothing left. No, there's still huge chunks of mycelium all over the place and like things that need to be transformed into other things. But this is the spot. I just love the way the ground's kind of connecting around here. I think it looks really cool. And um, yeah, I think this is where we're going to start. And so the first order of business here is going to be changing this mycelium into grass. So um, the biggest headache is going to be that. Like that's that's a ton, a ton, ton of mycelium <laughs> to, to get done here. But we can do it. I, I've been doing it over and over and over again. The process is pretty straightforward at this point. So let's throw down our in chest here. We've got our shovel in here. That does not have silk touch on it because we need that to kind of dig up a roll and then put our grass down so if you're new around here on mondays we do something called the monday mine and that is usually where we are mining something and today we are obviously not mining we're we're ter terraforming um but usually we're mining something and whether that's netherite ingots or well you can't mine ingots but we're mining for netherite or we're mining for diamond or we're mining for something um we're usually mining and talking about something positive so today we're going to be terraforming and talking about something positive so today i kind of wanted to talk about self-care so i've noticed a couple times on this channel when we're doing our positive thought of the week we focus a lot upon other people like doing good for others doing things that are helpful in our community, things like that. But today I want to talk about self-care and remind you to do good things for yourself. Um, not just things that are beneficial, like, you know, we all know we're supposed to read every day. We're supposed to spend some time in quiet reflection every day, whether that's meditating. Uh, for some people, that's prayer. For some people, that's just sitting quiet for a little bit with their thoughts. Um, but that's not the kind of things I'm talking about. I'm talking about more like if you ever watch Parks and Recreation and they, they say things like treat yourself. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about treating yourself, being good to yourself, uh, rewarding yourself for the different things that you are working hard on. Because if we don't celebrate things, and we've talked about this before, but if we don't celebrate things, then it's very easy to lose motivation to continue to do the good work that we're doing in our lives. So... 
um, take this as a reminder that you need to be good to yourself and treating yourself right. So how do we do that? How do we treat ourselves right? Well, you know, that's different for every person. Some people, they really enjoy stuff. So, you know, treating yourself might come in the form of getting yourself something that you've really been wanting for a while and you've been holding off and, you know, you're, you just get to the point where, you know, it's time. I can get that thing I've been wanting and I've waited long enough. So I want to treat myself and get that collectible or get that, uh, I don't know, whatever that item might be for you. I say collectible because I'm a collector and so I collect things and that's how I treat myself when it comes to like that kind of thing. Like I want to buy something. The other thing you can do too is things like... Um, treating your body so treating yourself to a massage or to a bath uh, where you can just soak and relax uh, there's all different ways to to kind of treat yourself maybe it's a meal maybe you've really been watching what you've been eating and you can do that and that's great and I definitely encourage that kind of um, thing to make sure that you're eating healthy and that you're not putting a bunch of terrible things in your body but once in a while, it's totally fine to indulge in some, you know, whatever that may be. Burger, ice cream, whatever it is. Pizza, that kind of stuff. The point is, not specifically what we're treating ourselves with, is that we're just remembering to treat ourselves. Remembering to be kind to ourselves, to care about ourselves. And to not be beating on ourselves all the time, trying to improve our... I mean, yeah, have goals, improve yourself, sure. But also, too, remember that you're just a person and that, you know, you're doing the best you can and you should celebrate that. Celebrate the, the things that you have accomplished and that you have done. And so, you know, ultimately, I'm just trying to say, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Find ways to be good to yourself and be good to others. But don't forget about yourself in there from time to time. So that's our positive thought of the week. Uh, if you're watching this, I'd love for you to leave a comment of what's your favorite way that you like to treat yourself. Like, what do you like to reward yourself with after you've been working diligently on something, whether that's a fitness goal or a mental goal or something with school or something with work? What's that thing you like to do to reward yourself? And if you haven't been rewarding yourself, what's that thing you're going to start doing to reward yourself? Um, I'd be very curious to hear that. So... This is how I go about terraforming this island. It is painful. It takes a long time. Um, but I don't really know a better way. So in the beginning, I was doing like just silk touching a ton of grass and then replacing it. But I figured this is a little bit easier on me, a little bit quicker for me to be able to transform large areas at a time. And so as long as you border it off in grass, then the grass will just spread and the mycelium will not creep its way back because it can't hop. So like if there was if this was mycelium, this would all start turning mycelium again, but it can't hop across. So it's just stuck over there now. And so let's talk about what I'm thinking about building here. So I'm thinking there's going to be a large flower patch. Um, I've seen these designs for these like frog water fountains. And so like right here, I'm thinking there's going to be a big frog and water spilling out of its mouth, which will run down into like a river here and then turn into a small little waterfall. I think that'll look cool. I've seen some stuff for some picnic kind of areas. Um, obviously, we're going to have a huge heart somewhere since we're doing like a Valentine's Day type of build. Uh, let me drop this dude real quick. Because his growling is just super annoying. I've got headphones in, and when they growl, it's it's intense. <laughs> I don't know why I keep it so loud all the time, but it's really intense. Um, so yeah, we'll have like a big heart. There's a lot of different things I want to build here that I think will be cool. But we can't do any of that until the grass gets in place, so we'll just continue working on that. And um, just kind of an update on the channel. So we did defeat our last boss of the game. Normally, if I was going to do a let's play, like I say normally, like I've done this before, but kind of the vision in my head was that maybe at that point I would move to a different area and start a new base and things like that. But I'm I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not ready to leave this base. There's still so much more I want to do on this island. 
and the 1.18 update didn't really give me a real reason to leave here because it changed the terrain like when you go to new places obviously but there's no reason for me to like uproot or start a new world because i can't get a certain item or something like that it, it didn't change enough in fact it spawned that huge awesome cave underneath our base which will be great for just um terraforming and exploring and things like that so I, I don't plan on leaving here anytime soon. We're going to keep this Let's Play going for a while in this particular world. And, um, yeah. So I think there's there's plenty of work to be done here. I want to, like, have a piece of the island where it looks like the end. And I want to have a piece of the island where it looks like a beach. And, uh, you know, a part where it looks snowy and maybe has a Christmas theme going on or something like that. What did I just do there? Oh, I turned it into a path block. Okay. I was wondering, I heard a weird sound and it changed. I was like, wait, what was that? So yeah, those are kind of the, the thoughts I have about where I want to go with this channel. But you are going to start seeing some new things. So I talked about this before. There's a new um, playlist we'll start. And it's just like a survival challenge, I guess. I want to see if I can beat Minecraft without actually having a base or a particular place that I'm launching out with. So I'll just be on the move like the entire time. We'll just constantly be moving, moving, moving. And um, I'm going to kind of shift gears here for a second. I can use this wood to stop the mycelium from spreading and let the grass kind of do its thing and then put some more grass there. Um, but yeah, and the other thing I want to do with that series is... While I'm trying to beat Minecraft as quickly as possible on the move, I also will be using a pack, like a texture pack, that's available for console, because I play on Xbox Series X. Um, not like that matters, because like this game is the same whether you're on the Series X or the S or even the 1. Um, it's all the same version of Minecraft. Uh, it's not like you're getting better graphics or anything. The performance, I think, is a little better. Um, I don't notice as much choppiness and stuff when I'm playing on the, the Series X. And I definitely had less crashing since I've been using this new console. But, uh, yeah, so I want to use one of the texture packs. So the game will look quite different in that series. But I think that'll be cool. So look forward to that. And then also I wanted to start my original idea for this channel besides the Let's Play, which was sh very short, direct how to's for brand new players like how to get bees how to get you know whatever it may be i don't know um yeah so those things will be coming soon but i think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode it's gonna be short this week um but i'm going to be terraforming this whole thing so the next time you see this area is going to look very very different and uh yeah i look forward to starting these valentine's builds but I will see you guys on the next episode of Mining Positivity. Have a great week and uh, treat yourself, guys. Bye.